change? Well, this week we're in Scotland, and this is quite idyllic, I can tell you, because we're on a tiny little ferry on our way to a very small island. We headed up to Scotland and then to the west coast to a little town called Largs. And then we got on the ferry with the lorry, and we're heading for this very small island, which is called Cumbrae. Now, all we've been told on the island is to look for something called Hush Hush. A person, a place, who knows? We should be there any minute. Do you know what Hush Hush is? No. If you turn left, Paul, we'll okay. um, head for some expert help. It's millions of cyclists. Hello? Do you know anywhere called Hush Hush? Hush Hush? Yeah. Hush, hush, have you? I've never, it's the first time ever I've been in this island. We don't know where we're going, we keep going well, around. Well, you're not around. so far away from Millport. Is that uh, the that, main... That's the only town in Ireland. Oh, right. Where is this tourist information office? Let's get out and ask. Hiya! You don't know where there's a place called Hush Hush, do you? Uh, I'm one of the ones that's with us. <laughs> no, it's where that, she knows she's been. Hush Hush. Uh -huh. <laughs> what is Hush Hush? It's just a wee... A wee bit and hot thing where people go on holiday. You went the wrong way when you got off the boat the lady right said. Right the well, it's very well to the, tell me now. The lady in the boat there, she said. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And the lady there with all. Oh, right. Are you doing a challenge? <laughs> we are, but we don't know what the challenge is yet. We've just been told to look for hush yeah. hush. You can go along the front, yes, and right round the island. And you'll still well, how come do we it. know what it is? is it uh, well, it it's a like? sort of broken down <laughs> hut. I don't know whether that's anything to do with Hush Hush. There's definitely a, a building ahead. Now, it doesn't look broken down, but it does look fairly bleak. Does that look bleak enough for a challenge, Dave? That is bleak. <laughs> ah, do you think this is it? Well, it's the only building we've come to, so... Hello! Oh, Dave. Is this Hush Hush? Uh -huh. What is Hush Hush? Is this Hush Hush? What are you Hush Hush? No, 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 are you hush hush? No, no. You must be hush hush. No. You're hush hush. No. Does anyone know? No. Yes. yes. Well, tell me. That's hush no, hush. It used to be. What's it now? Let's go to stay there on Friday for the holiday. You're going to stay there on Friday yes. for your holiday? Yes. Well, what's that building then? The challenge. The challenge? What have we got to do in there? They've got to do it up. For it, they're trying to make it into a sports centre. A sports centre? Yes. Should we go and have a look at it? Where are you all from? Easter House. Easter House. Is that near Glasgow? Uh-huh. Yes. Oh, my goodness, look in there. Oh! You have to do that all up for Friday. It's all very well for you to say that, isn't it? Just casually say, do it. Ah, right, we've been seeing a lot of those. Oh, well done. Oh, look, it's on the bike. So, have you seen on the island, everyone goes around by bike, so that's very... Oh, look, it's in blue and yellow, the bike. Someone's been busy painting. Um. Here we are, it says Challenge Annika. At high noon on Friday, lead a rally of a 1,000 cyclists... <laughs> oh, no. ..from Millport Pier to the new Grey Craigs Outdoor Centre. That must be here. PTO, must... you've guessed it, you're in it. Get on your bike. Listen, I think what we should do is head out of here because it's really dangerous. We keep knocking over bricks and things, and they've gone already. And then we can discuss what we've got to do next because somehow we've got to remove all this rubble and start clearing everything away. So, oh my goodness, <laughs> hello. There's some bodies in here in oh, the gloom. Okay. My name's Malcolm Cuthbertson. I'm the parish minister in a place called Easter House in Glasgow, which is a large housing estate in the uh, east end of Glasgow. And we've had 
This place here for over 20 years is a place for bringing children down from the housing scheme on holiday. Right. We have now been told that because of the dilapidated state of this, that we cannot in fact use the newly refurbished accommodation block unless this is in some way rebuilt. But we have Robert Boyce from EC Reoch, uh, the Robert. architects, Hello. and Alan Kempso uh, from McTaggart Constructions. Both of them have been involved in the accommodation block and drew up plans in the hope that we'd be able to do something with this. But it's the usual thing, no money. No money. As, yeah. as the architect, have you got yeah. some plans then? I have a project to be, to be done in a short period anyway. Yeah. Well, where we're standing at the moment is where we proposed it would be a games hall. At the far end there, there's a lounge. One of the major parts is to open up a window. We so need, you can see the we sea. We need to, like, see the sea yes. as well. So the demolition part, which is the major part of it, is actually through in the large area through there. Right, so all this has got to come down. What we're supposed to try and do is to leave some of the outside wall up as yes. a windbreak. That's a good idea. So that when the children yeah. are playing in here, at least if it's dry and a bit breezy, they can still play with a ball, etc. Right. Well, I think we should um, get to work. What we've got to do, apparently, is renovate this building here and make it into a sort of recreational centre. And the challenge also says at noon on Friday, lead a rally of a thousand cyclists from Millport Pier to here. So we want you to spread the word. Noon on Friday, we want everyone with their bicycles. You on for that? Yes! Good! Get those muscles toned up. Malcolm! Can I give you the guided tour? Oh, yes, of this, our is, this is the actual hostel. New accommodation. Oh, isn't this great? Yes, this is uh, terrific from what it was originally. We've managed to do all this up with uh, grants from various trusts and charities. Right. And uh, it's terrific. And why Hush Hush? What's the Hush Hush bit? Well, the Hush Hush was built during the war as a listening post, so it was all top secret. Therefore, the local people in Millport know it, uh, the older ones certainly, as the Hush Hush. Oh, right. Because it was built during the war, it would have been built to stand up against any enemy forces. Bombs. Bombs. So, it's very difficult to So we don't down. know about this huge concrete roof, for example, and just how oh, solid right. it might be and yeah. how well reinforced it might be. That's true. So we're really, we're really needing something big to chew it up for us, make sure we can get it done in time. Charles Michan, Oh, good morning. It's Annika Rice here from the, the Challenge Programme. I am on the island of Cumbrae. And I'm, I've been with Robert Boyce and various other people who say that very kindly in the past your, your company has pledged its support to this project and uh, you said you would actually help with the demolition at cost price or something. Have, have I got yeah. the right Peter Beatty? Yes, Beattie? that's correct. Good afternoon, company. Oh, hello there. I wonder if I could talk to someone about a roofing problem I have. Gone yeah. quiet on me there. Yeah, we've got a, a squad that we've just finished our job. We could send them down tomorrow. Could you? But we would require material. So yes. Possibly cola. Colas. We'd be very pleased to help you. Really? You do realise that you're speaking to me in Basildon in Essex. Am I? So we're a long way away. You are wonderful. Bring your bucket and spade and I'll buy you an ice cream. I thought you might have found the buggy. What do you think? It's rather nice, isn't it? And this is the special roof we've got on in case it rains. But what do you think? Do you think it's going to rain today? No. no. Do you promise? Yes. yes. Now, the thing is, I want to choose a team of people to help us. And I'm just about to go on a trip now. And I wondered if two of you would like to come now. Yes. Oh, you all do. I thought maybe no one would want to come. Is that a person? You and... This person. Well done. Yeah. That hand and what... Was it your head? This head and this hand. So we'll go now today and then tomorrow another two can go and we'll just keep choosing different people until everyone's had a go. Right? And we're off again. We're actually going back to the ferry because we've got to make quite a lot of arrangements locally for getting various companies and lorries and kit 
over to the island, so we're going to go and ask the ferry company for their help over the next few days. And the good news is the Scottish Hydroelectric Company have agreed to come over to the site this afternoon and install the power so that work can start with a vengeance tomorrow. We're now actually at the ferry port. It's worse than coming out of the truck. OK, Christopher, say what we can do is we can actually get out of the buggy now and um, go up onto the deck and have a look out, OK? from the Challenge Programme. So I talked to someone about external wall installation with a rubber fender. Wednesday? Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh well. We can certainly uh, supply the product. I could recommend also uh, a firm of applicators concerned. Really? Yes. Who are they? They're AC White of, of Glasgow. Is that John Woyker and company? That's them. We're desperately in need of some timber and wondered if you could help. We'll try. What do you want? Can I carry on this conversation in a moment when I get in the buggy? Because we've just arrived. Right. We're on a ferry. But, oh, you're on the ferry, uh, We're right? on a ferry. Whereabouts? <laughs> Cumbrae in Scotland. Do you know it? Cumbrae. Cum how do you pronounce it? Cumbrae. Cumbrae. I mean, I've been pronouncing it wrong for the whole start of this programme. conveniently near to the ferry. Oh, so right, we yes, avoid you. Right, right. We're doing a challenge on the island. Uh -huh. So we're busy at work, aren't we? Oh, yeah. This is Sanger, this is Christopher. Oh, yeah. And they've been writing a list uh -huh. with a bit of help. Yes. And Thank I wondered you. if I could ask you whether any of those things... Well, Galvanised couple... angles, yeah. what are they? That's a special item which I'll need to get for you. When do you need this for? Um, early tomorrow morning. Oh, <laughs> and we right. Can, we can offer you a free ferry and an ice cream and that's about well, it. If there's a free ice cream, you'll get it tomorrow really? morning. Yes. That's what everyone's saying. Okay. This seems to be the key to getting help right. in Scotland. <laughs> I think I know somebody who could possibly help. Heard hasty pain. What are they called? Heard hasty pain. How is hasty pain? Heard. 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 H I R D. H O H I R D. Hired. Heard. Heard. Yeah. Close enough. Eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Did you have breakfast Oh, I don't know when you'll have your breakfast, Christopher. and wall copes from Lorraine Engineering. It's all coming together. OK, chaps, go and make some plans. How are you? Fine, thank you. This is Christopher. Just how you do, son. This is Sega. you. They've come to ask you a bit of a favour. Yes, certainly. Can you explain what the project is? Oh, go on, Sega. Come on, don't be shy. Can you explain? Explain what we're doing. Explain what we're building. We're building a thousand thousand thousand. Excellent. Who's the first best person to talk to? Do you know? Charlie. Charlie? Oh, yes. You think Charlie. Charlie's our man? Yes, so we need to find someone called Charlie, Christopher. Charlie? You're, this is Charlie. This is Hi. Charlie, Christopher. Hi. Hi. We are doing a project further along the coast. Yes. Com Cumbrae. Is that the right pronunciation? Cumbrae. Cumbrae. That'll Cumbrae. Cumbrae. Yes. Uh -huh. We wondered if you could help us with some screens, windows. Um, um, shall I show you what we've got yes, in mind? Yes, I've got so many different plans here. OK. Is that you? Yeah. And are you going to be playing in this place, are you? Sanger starts her holiday on Friday. Right. So we've got it. It's all 
hinges on whether I'm it's afraid. finished by then. OK, we'll see what we can do, eh? that you might have started. Yeah. Oh, you have. Had You've had... Ha you haven't had haggis. Yeah. Right. Sorry? Well, I think you should, because you've just asked so nicely. And why don't you go as well? Brian okay? and Stephen. We've come back to Millport, because, uh, believe it or not, we're looking for the island's blacksmith. Apparently, he was involved with some of the work on the accommodation block. And we now need to see if he can possibly turn up tomorrow morning to actually help us with some urgent welding that needs to be done. The only problem is I don't know where he lives, but because there's only one on the island, I'm hoping that everybody else does. You don't know where the blacksmith lives, do you? Sorry, no. You don't? OK. Oh, brilliant. Thank you very much. Oh, I think we've missed it. Do you know where the blacksmith is? I think he's running in that first street in there. Right. Back the way we've come. OK. I don't know. Very elusive blacksmith. Where is the shop? Where? Here. Where's his house? I'll show you. Oh, right. Thank you. So this is his yard, is it? Yeah. He lives just up here. Right. OK. Which one is it? And the green door? Yeah, I wonder where he might be. We need him desperately. What's his name? Uh, um, Paul, what's his name, Scott? Ian McBee. Where might he be? Uh, pub? Which pub? Pub. Anyone? Kilburn. 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 Well, where should we start? Kilburn. Kilburn. Where's, the, where's that one? Just around the corner. I have to, Mark. I mean, we got to for the sake of the programme. Who was the blacksmith? All right, Ian. Ian, do you know where he is? I don't know where he stays. Over the Pelburn Park. Blacksmith? 
talking about. He's away fishing. Is, he's away fishing. Uh huh. <sighs> when will he be back? I was with the, on him with the first boat this morning. Right. So what does that mean? When is he back in town or on the island? Back at seven. What? Twenty minutes. And where would he come back to? The pier. Right, well, uh, these two lads would like a glass of water. I'd like a large gin and tonic, please. <laughs> so, so we've got to wait for 20 minutes. Thank you. Uh, I'm exhausted. Uh, make it too large. <laughs> it's never like this on Treasure Hunt. We used to just run like the wind. No sign. How long do you think we wait? Better give it an hour, I reckon. It's getting cold. Very nippy. Half an hour? Maximum. There's a nice vision ship shop around the corner. Pub's still open. <laughs> better, better go. Let's go. <laughs> quarter to seven and it's a very cold, bleak and rather rainy morning. Behind me there, that's the first ferry to reach the island this morning. It's going to be the first of many that stream back and forth all day, bringing helpers and workers to the island. On board that ferry are the demolition workers. They're going to make their way to the site now. And I can tell you, in a very short space of time, the whole area is going to change dramatically. Good morning, darling. There. Could I talk to someone about um, some flooring for a sports room? It's Annika Rice here from the Challenge Programme. Oh. Hello. Good morning to you. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? The only drawback is we would actually need it on site tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, at 3 o'clock. Yeah, sure. All you really need is a miracle. Hi, Grove Project. Can we help you? Sorry, did you say Hi, Grove Project? Yes, I did. Do you do wall boards? <laughs> Good morning, alarm Listen, I understand you, you put in a lovely alarm system at this hostel. What we were wondering was if you could possibly come along and extend the system to the recreation block. Good morning, Armstrong Feeling. Hello there. We're doing a challenge in Scotland, and what we are after is some ceilings. OK. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. Can you do good. that? Oh, aren't you wonderful? Mm. people on the phone yesterday when we were trying to set everything up I rather rashly said uh, bring your bucket and spade and the ice creams are on us and of course everyone's now arriving this morning and saying where's my double cone so we thought we'd go back into Millport the main town on the island and see if we can kidnap a, an ice cream van it's a great sight that's the first of our diggers just arrived off the ferry <laughs> Best 
Sunday ice cream is coming. Oh, and come in and taste oh, some. Oh, we'd love to. We'd love, love to. to. Can you taste some oh, with yes, your tongue? Yes, please. Good morning. You might be able to help us. Yes. You know, we've got all these workers yes. coming over to the island to help us with this project. As, as a nice thing to give them, mind you, we thought it was going to be sunnier. We thought we would give them an ice cream it when they arrive. Yeah, nice. yes. Will it be sunny? So, oh, what's that? It's homemade ice cream. That was in the cows this morning. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I just had that bit. Do you have a van yeah, or anything? We've got a, a portable container that we could bring ice cream to you. Have you? Yeah. It's so loud. <laughs> Well, Mr. MacArthur out, one of the electricians that's working out there at the hash hash, he's the pipe major. So if you have a word with him, I'm sure he could arrange it for you. Because we're going to go and check out some sports equipment. Yes. Right? Hello. Sorry, I, I brought a few visitors. So I see. So Listen, I, see. I hear you very kindly have agreed to help us out with some yes, kit. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, we have. Um, so I thought I'd brought the team. What were some of your ideas? Do you want tennis. tennis, football, football. Yes. Yes. Basketball. basketball, yes. And what's that called? That's the soccer post for indoor and outdoor. This is your soccer post for the indoor and the outdoor football. Don't go too near, because you'll get sprayed as well. Well, listen, I think we've got a very big thank you to say to this gentleman, haven't we? Do you want to thank him, because he's given you all your kit that you wanted? Thank, thank you. you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Hope you use them well. So, we've got some sports equipment. Yeah. Now, the... The other problem we've got today is we have this football pitch we're making back at the base, uh -huh. but we haven't got anyone to mark it out. Is there any good football teams here in Glasgow? Uh -huh. Rangers. Rangers? Celtic. Celtic. Two of them. Do you think they'd know how to lay out a football pitch? Yes. Which is the best, Rangers or Celtic? Rangers. And you say Celtic. It looks as if Rangers has it. I have to say. I don't like Rangers. Don't you? <laughs> Stadium. 
that's where that's the home of Rangers Football Club. And that's where we're going now. No, we're going in it. Yeah. Right, here we are. Yeah. Right, you go. Okay, girls, out you go. So all stick together, because we're not we're not supposed to be here. Oh hang on, hello. Hi. Sorry to barge in like this. We're doing a challenge. <laughs> What was all that about? Uh, we're going to take to see the head groundsman called Alan Ferguson. Right, OK. And he'll show you how to mark out a pitch. Look, there it is. Look at that. Have you seen this on the telly lots and lots of times? Oh, look, she does too. Look at this. Didn't realise she had the full kit on. Hi, Alan. I hear you're the best groundsman in the entire world. Well, we didn't say that. <laughs> Let alone Scotland. <laughs> These children are all from Easter House, and we're making um, a sort of sports area for mm -hmm. them. And the only thing we haven't got at the moment is someone to help us mark out the football pitch. Because yeah, the man that's here that could help is working on the pitch just now. Are the gang allowed on the pitch? Aye. Sure. There's people you can tell that you have actually been on the Rangers pitch. Hello. Services. Andrew, sorry to interrupt like no this, but what we need is a, an area of tarmac which is uh, 28 by 18 metres mm -hmm. marked out as an outdoor football pitch. Could you, could you possibly could help get us? Something, I'm sure, could yeah. you? Could you really? <laughs> right, make the most of this. This could be the only time you ever get to kick a ball on the Rangers pitch. You going first? Oh, he's going for a bit of a funny angle here. On your marks, get set, go! One to the girls. Good shot. Oh, it's not gone over the line. Uh, boy's not doing as well as the girls so far. Good shot. Well done. Well, it's the girls that win, unless Dave and Martin can score a goal. Dave, you're going. One still to the goals, Martin. It's still good. This is the only chance that the boys can catch up. Hang on, this is the deciding goal. Martin! There's my host right there, Annika. Where? Which one? There? I have that top flat right there. Jacqueline! Is he. They're your friends? Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's my wee brother, Ian. <laughs> Easter House is a huge post-war housing estate. When it was actually built, it was the largest housing estate in Europe, and there were 70,000 people who lived here. Today, there are still some 44,000 people living here. You see that chap oh, right yeah. there? That's it right there. Often, the children who go to Grey Craigs, that's their only holiday. And for many, it's their first time on the boat, it's their first time in the countryside, it's their first time by the seaside. Uh, all these things are wrapped up in that one uh, venture. The thing that we're hoping to do now is that um, we will actually be able to work more with the children and develop the child and look at educational facilities as well, because local schools have traditionally used Grey Craigs too yes. for school groups to go down. This is the, the crash facility we have uh, for the local children and the five. Oh, how brilliant! Hello! Oh, wow! Hello! It's amazing um, reading the thing that 25% um, of the population here at under Easter 16. House is under Very 16. Young That's extraordinary. I mean, when you hear a statistic like that, you can really appreciate the need, need for somewhere to like this hostel. This is a disco that's uh, part of the organising of the entertainment that's going on at the moment. Disco, are you ready for this? I'm ready for a disco. Four o'clock in the afternoon. Oh. Margaret, hi. Margaret's um, organiser of the local play schemes. Margaret, all, all I can say is I don't envy your job. We want to try and get hold of as many cyclists as possible to go around the island uh -huh. and finish off in the new centre, which should be looking fantastic by then. So if we could arrange bicycles, helmets and transport to the island, uh -huh. whether you could arrange some children for Friday. I'll try and get 200 children. 
That'll do nicely. That'll do? That would be wonderful. <laughs> but the cement between the bricks has been so good. So actually that's bricks. put the whole project back 12 hours? Yeah. Not going according to plan, is it? Very tough, very yeah. tough. How are you? Thank you. You're doing the most Hello. wonderful job here. Yes. You're actually Hello. exhausted. I'm getting a bit tired now. Getting a bit tired. Well, things are definitely a lot calmer now after a particularly frenzied and action-packed day, and that's mainly because a lot of the workers have had to go back on the last ferry, which, as you know, was at 8.30 this evening. There are still a core of workers, though, who will be staying on the island tonight. They're the electricians, painters, and some of the demolition team, so for them it's still going to be a very long, hard night. The good news is, look at the sky, there's scarcely a cloud in sight, so that gives us a perfect opportunity tomorrow, fingers crossed, we can start thinking about the final part of the challenge, which is to organise a grand rally of a thousand cyclists at 12 o'clock on Friday. Uh -huh. <laughs> Last night you were saying you reckon you were 12 hours behind. We're we... probably further behind now, yeah. on this corner. But luckily we've got the new squad of men coming over to do the insulation work. Yeah. So they're nice and fresh and enthusiastic, so they're coming on behind us. So we're, we're relatively on schedule, I think, for the rest of the building, but this here is as well behind, so we're going to have to concentrate on this today and give it priority. Hi! Who's the pipe major? Pipe major? Yeah. No idea. Not you? No, not me. Not you, probably not one in here. Probably so. Is he over here? Pipe major? One of the electricians plays the bagpipes. I think you're getting wound up. <laughs> Do you think I am? Martin, I'm not hallucinating, am I? Certainly not me. Not you? No, <laughs> certainly not me, no. Yeah. Are you the pipe major? Yes. We found you. Talked about the possibilities the other night, and we don't really think it's going to be feasible. Not even as a lone piper. Could you do a lone pipe for us? Well, just, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. Last, there's one or two said that they might be able to work something round their work. Um, really? But we'll see oh, what we can do. It'd be so wonderful because we've got a thousand cyclists, right. and it would be wonderful if the band could lead the whole procession. Well, I'll, I'll make a few phone calls. See okay. what we can do. Have you done a lot of these trips before? We do quite a few trips. We take children away, you know, um, during the summer, four or five different trips. Are you actually a community worker then? Yes, yeah, I'm a community worker. We work for a local charity. It's run by um, uh, local parents. What do you think of the particular pressures of living on an, an estate like Easter House? Well, I think the main, the main pressure is really on parents because uh, many are living on income support, so there's, there's financial problems, and children are expensive these days. So it is hard bringing up children, and, and most parents in Easter House do a really great job. And, but I hope that by providing cheap holidays, we just make it a bit easier. Yes. We've got a very important job to do this morning. We've got to try and arrange for a thousand bicycles and a thousand people to ride them in a big procession all around the island tomorrow. <laughs> What we're going to do now is go and find 200 bicycles for your friends. Uh -huh. Now, what about 
about this jokes, toys, games, cycle hiring. Right, the only way we can do that, I think, is to get all the cycle. There's three cycle hirers on the island. Uh, Gordon Stark and Sandy Morton, I think, will have to become involved in this too, if we're even to have a hope of managing. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna come, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Promise? Right, okay. Well, the problem back at the site with the corner of that building is really very serious and there's some very long and some very glum faces indeed, but there's not a lot I can be doing there, so I thought I'd take a ferry back to the mainland to Largs now and see if there's a shop there where I could get hold of some bikes to be kept at the site on a permanent basis for use over the years by children of all ages. Yes, He's got the factory. He's the manufacturer. Here. He's the main man. He's the main man. Mr. Peter Sweetman yes. from Falcon Cycles. Right, OK. Where's the other shop, then? Just round the corner. If you like, I'll take oh, you right. round. Oh, I'd you love can... to see. Let's go! This is the chap I want to talk to. Oh, sorry, Peter Sweetman from Falcon Cycles. Is Peter... Sweetman. Sweetman there? Yes, just a moment. Yeah. When are you looking at them being delivered? Tomorrow. When do you require them tomorrow. for? Tomorrow. This is the problem. It's for tomorrow. Hello? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. It's yeah, for yeah. tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow right. by lunchtime, by noon. It's a bit tight, but it should be possible, yes. Has yeah. anyone told you today you're wonderful? <laughs> And you need them for tomorrow? Tomorrow. And it's an awful lot. And I've tried all the local um, shops and they've said, you know, I could have got two there and three there yeah, and four down the road. Yeah. Uh, we ran out of petrol. <laughs> <laughs> Stopping off at all these shops. So in right. desperation we've got um, Yeah, we can supply them. <laughs> Wall. I'm talking about the the, the, the roof. Hi. Pardon a minute, right? It's all down to time. Hello. Is there anyone I could talk to about donuts? <laughs> we'll send over about 250 packs for the kids with lemonade. Biscuits, chocolate biscuits, and um, we're going to put in some sweets as well. A bag of crisps. We've oh, made up wonderful. 250 packs for each of them, and we'll send it over to you tomorrow morning. So they've got like a little self contained picture. Yeah.
was one of the first tarmacking vehicles that's arrived from Hill House Quarries. The rest are arriving on the six o'clock ferry tomorrow morning. The purpose of this machine is to lay the surface on the outdoor football pitch. Now the only problem is, and we're going to have to explain this to the uh, driver who's come to operate the machine, is that we're not quite ready for them. How's it going? We've well, heard... we're getting there slowly but surely. The dimensions have been out slightly, so yeah. it's caused this additional problems to the problems we had this morning. So we had to frame out here and put in the extra brick work below it to fit the window in. Oh my goodness, how did that happen? We someone, don't know. Someone cut the end of their tape measure. We went to the sizes in the drawing, so I can't say any more than that, Annika. I'm right. afraid. <laughs> right. Okay. That's me blaming myself, I think. That often happens on the challenge, though, because there's so many different parts of it. I certainly didn't blame anybody else on this site, because they're all working so, so fantastic. Hard, I know. Well, I wouldn't like to promise just now. Give us another six hours or something, we'll see right. how we're getting on. Well, as if the problems we've just seen around the other side of the building weren't bad enough, there's a problem up there that's causing those guys a real headache in more ways than one with that blast going on all day. It's a wedge of concrete that's proving absolutely impossible to budge. Let's go and see. What is so extraordinarily hard about Sorry. that bomb? You must remember this is bolting the water, this is bomb for it. Yeah. Obviously, it's been really hard stuff, and yeah. it didn't well embed it in it. So, uh, no one to stop that. It's amazing. You absolutely exhausted. Yes, worked at half past four this morning, started oh, back at half past six in the morning. That's what I've been going to say. Um, indoor tennis kit, we've got netball posts, basketball, uh, badminton, the football kit obviously for the indoor football. Yeah, great, great. Um, we've got carpets actually which is a really lovely extra thing so right. we didn't think we'd be able to get, get those. The so good. the only thing we're having real problems with is the pool table which is a real crisis because there's this room that's beautifully carpeted, well it will be very shortly, but right. it's got all the boards down, it's been painted, it's got a lovely window and it's called the pool room and we've got and no, pool, no table. pool table. But you're going to get one. Well right. I don't know, we've had two people hitting the phones all day trying to find one, but we will get one. I don't know where. Right. The pub? The pub. The pub. <laughs> Specialise in pool tables. No. no. You want a pool table. You want a pool table. Yeah. Well, we'll still want it at Bobby Clark. <laughs> Who's Bobby Clark? Bobby Clark. Tavern 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 This is getting very tricky. It's bad enough for me to understand one Scottish accent, but 40 very excitable Olympic ones. It's almost impossible, but I think the general drift was head for the pub, don't you? Pool table. Is there a pool table? Yeah. For the one to have, not to play on. To take away. Do they do take away pool tables? Who's Oh, she's gone. What do you mean? Hello, have you gone mad? This woman just went. Do you know anyone who knows anything about the 
about four times, and this woman just dragged me to the front door here and said, talk to the man in the white shirt. That's me. Four times? Yes. We supply pubs and pubs with pill tables, yes. What? Well, we, we want a pool table. For, you know we're doing, you know we're doing, you know we're doing this challenge. Yes. And we really need a pool table. Okay then. I'll supply you with a pool table. <laughs> Looking at the watch, well, I won't do that. It makes me feel too depressed. But as you can see, there's scaffolding up, there's rubble everywhere. And we now have an even bigger problem, which we've got to face this morning, and that is the rendering of the outside walls. The first layer's gone on here, but the second layer has only got up to this stage, and it's got to go right round the building. But most importantly of all, it means that the, the tarmacers are being very held up, and they're now tearing their hair out. It's now 9 o'clock. 200 children are on their way here from Easter House, and at midday, a 1,000 cyclists are going to leave the pier on the hugest rally this island's ever seen. And frankly, I don't think we're ready for them. I've got a bit of a problem with this scaffolding here. I know. Thank you very much for coming to help. I don't know you can find some space to work around. It's a bit chaotic. Two hours to go before the rally starts and come and see how we're doing. There's still a lot of rubbish everywhere. The scaffolding's locked down. Are you nearly finished now? Yes, then one more thing to do now. One more thing to do. Yes. So all the electrical work is nearly completed. We've got to lay all the carpets as well as everything else. I really don't think this is going to work. Nice to see you. Yeah, we managed to get here. I know. This is the, the wonderful team from uh, Rangers, Rangers Football Club. How long do you think you're going to... Oh, about, uh, oh, about three hours we'll manage, no problem. Three hours? <laughs> don't say that! Oh dear, don't say that. Huge frustration all round because, as you can see, the last section they can't even begin to do while the scaffolding's still up. The scaffolding can't come down until all the wall surfacing, all the rendering has been finally completed. So do you think by 12 o'clock we'll be finished? Not by 12. They're working away here at the last section of the wall. We reckon they'll be finished at quarter past twelve. The scaffold's then got to come down. That'll take at least three minutes, I think, the way they're working. Plus 17. <laughs> so then we'll come in with the tarmac, a few barrel loads of tarmac. The line man is working across, so I would say an hour. Okay, everyone, we've got just under an hour to get this whole project finished, cleared up. Do. It's now 
two minutes to midday, we've got to rush around to the pier and start off the procession. And by the time we get here in about 45 minutes, somehow a miracle is going to have to have happened. to a team of workers and it's those workers that team who over the last three days have worked day and night to make this into the most incredible recreational center for the children of Easter House so we now hand it over to the Reverend Malcolm Cuthbertson who's lurking somewhere oh he's there Mark yeah. he's there. we just wish him and his workers and all the children at Easter House the happiest of holidays in the years to come. Three cheers for our work team. Keep it. 